September 1, 1985 at Villamore Street in Agdao, Davao City. A dramatic exodus happened as Jesus Christ, the name above every name, was finally set free to reign supreme in the lives of His chosen people. It was a momentous event for it ushered in an era of spiritual awakening. And the rest is history. With the lifting up of the powerful name of Jesus Christ, religion was no longer a barrier. Every Christian now feels the spiritual freedom of unity in the body of Christ, regardless of what religious affiliation they belonged. Consequently, the voice of God was now the voice of the people. God's rule has been restored. Now, the voice of God has been reverberating all throughout the land, as it is being preached by His anointed servant through the print, radio, and television. Since then, God's wonderful work of emancipation to draw His people near continued. The enemy tried to place mountains of obstacles to block the path of progress. However, Pastor Apollo was undaunted, having his faith fixed in the God of the impossible. From a lowly church of 15 members in 1980 to 10,000 in 1995 in Davos City alone, The work of evangelism further expanded that 86 satellite churches were established in all the key cities all over the country. The ministry was able to acquire an 8-hectare lot strategically located along Superhighway Katitipan and had constructed a 3,000-seating capacity cathedral, a sports gym equipped with stage and lighting system, and a two-story, 20-room ACQ Bible School building. And the vehicles that keep the ministry mobilized. By 1991, it was decided that evangelism was to expand via television. This marked the launching of the Arab Truth telecast, which spread not only nationwide, but also to the shores of Asia, America, and Europe. The Hour of Truth is seen 11 times in the key cities all over the country. And just recently, the daily telecast power line was added to meet the persistent demand of the viewing public who clamor for a daily measure of spiritual strength. And this is the production department that takes charge of the preaching and dissemination of the Word of God throughout the archipelago and the world. They produce the tapes for the Hour of Truth and Powerline telecast, and also the audio and video tapes for home Bible studies, meetings, and seminars. The unceasing emanation of concerts have contributed mainly in the dissemination of the Word, where the omnipotent presence of divinity is felt and received. One such concert transpired on April 23, 1994 at the Araneta Coliseum where Reverend Apollo C. Kiboloy proclaimed that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in the Philippines and the whole world. The place warmed with people causing security to deny entry for fear the building would give way. Then the most recent major spiritual explosion happened in the corresponding month of this year, 1995, at the Quirino Grandstand, where hundreds of thousands of covenant partners assembled. It was a spectacular sight to behold. And likewise, the Jesus Christ Congregation in Hong Kong also has its share of amazing results in their every concert. And now, on its tenth year of spiritual achievement, the banner of Jesus Christ, the name above every name, waves high in Davao, the promised land, revealed years ago as the water center of the world, where the fresh and living water of the Word of God flow. The place where all God's children will one day be gathered, 
for the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King.